look at that and look at that you know like a cup now what does what are core interior angles these are core interior angles Hello again, our most valued student. Welcome again to our continuation where we are looking at the geometry of straight lines and mainly for grade 8 and 9. Remember, subscribe guys to this channel so that every time I'm posting a new video, you will be notified. If you subscribe, it's easier for you to follow these lessons. And remember, we are preparing you for the final exams. Now we are continuing with core interior angles. Remember, core interior angles. Now again, to bring back our basics, we say it every time you're talking about whether it's corresponding angles whether it's alternate angles whether it's co-interior angles you must remember you're talking of two parallel lines like that and how do you know that they are parallel you have to indicate by that arrow which shows that these two lines are parallel and what is parallel lines these are lines that will never meet because the distance between them will never change so let's say we have for argument's sake this is line AB and this is line CD. Now, if we're talking about core interior angles, what do we mean? We bring a transversal line like this. And how do we come about now a core, uh, uh, core interior angles? Let's say the transversal line is our line um, MN, like that. So now, when you're talking about core interior angles, we are looking at kind of a shape that is a U. It can be like that facing up. It can be like a C facing that. It can be like that. It can be like that. So that is what you're looking at. So look at this part. If I can identify the kind of, kind of a C, look at that. Look at that. And look at that. You know, like a cup. Now, what, does, what are core interior angles? These are core interior angles. Do you see that? And then also opposite them, you can come up with that one. I think this one you can also see it. Then there is that one. And there is that one. It's also the opposite of that. It's a core interior. You see? They are core interior angles. Now, they've got a special name here. We are saying core interior angles are supplementary that's the supplementary that's the key word there core interior angles what are these they are supplementary and remember what does the word supplementary means it means they add up to 180 degrees so core interior angles add up to 180 degrees meaning they are supplementary they are easy to identify as you said it's either you are looking at a shape like a C facing the opposite direction or if I had my lines like that to say parallel lines facing up and how do you indicate don't forget you need to always indicate that the lines are parallel and you have your AB and you have your CD and you have your transversal line it doesn't matter how it goes about it can be like that you can see now how you come up with uh, the U shape, which is, for example, that part, and core interior angles, you got that angle, and you got that angle. When you add these two angles, I must get what? 180 degrees. What does it mean? It means they are supplementary. Or I can even choose this one here with that and that. This is also a core interior angle where that angle is equal to that angle and if you add them what you get 
you get 180 degrees so these are supplementary so that's the condition when you're dealing with co-interior angles parallel lines and also they are supplementary we have come to the end of our lesson remember to subscribe now go on to look at the next lesson where i'm doing some proofs some theorems when you're talking about quadrilaterals this is very important for your exams you need to follow through don't miss any lesson in the series thank you